Good morning, everyone. My name is Miguel Cabañas. Uh, I'm part of the organizing committee for this sym symposium, and I want to thank you all for coming this morning. Um, you know, it's still early, so people will be coming in and out uh, throughout the day, probably. Um, I uh, the the first thing I want to I want to thank the college for giving us the funding and giving us that, uh, this opportunity to organize this, this event. Uh, it's been uh, a wonderful um, thing to, to do for us and it will help uh, our, our research uh, in the future uh, to bring such great uh, invited guests today. But uh, so I want to make a special thanks to our Dean uh, Chris Long, and uh, he's he's going to give us some some uh, uh, introductions, uh, some words of introduction, and also uh, the associate dean uh, for graduate studies, uh, Bill Hart Davidson, with all his help, uh, he's he's been very important to to uh, to get us to this point. And so, I, you know, uh, Chris, uh, please. Thank you, thank you, Miguel. It's it's a great pleasure to be able to welcome you all to this event and to MSU and um, really to thank the organizers for putting this event together. We've been, been working very hard to advance and enhance the language uh, education and research at MSU and the work that this symposium embodies, the collaborative work, the work uh, across disciplines, across departments, across programs, and between colleges uh, is emblematic of the kind of work that we've been trying to uh, empower the faculty and the graduate students to do. So we're, we are really grateful to have uh, the energy that you've brought to this um, for the symposium. It couldn't be a more timely and, and important set of issues that we're, that we're looking at uh, today. And I really appreciate the humanistic dimension of um, the approach that you're taking to questions of migration. Um, so much of our conversation turns on legalistic kinds of framing, nationalistic kinds of framing, and we lose what so many of us in the humanities and the arts want to focus on, which is the human dimensions of, um, of the opportunities and challenges that come with newcomers and um, movements of people. So I'm really grateful for the work that you've done. Uh, I'm really grateful that you've include gra included graduate students. Um, Jose and Osvaldo, it's great to talk to you. Uh, and the work that you've done to, to bring this about is absolutely vital. Um, both the scholarly value of this, but also, as we were just talking about in the back, um, the human relationships that you're establishing and the collaboration that you're, that you're um, learning how to do and helping us learn how to do is absolutely vital to uh, not only what we're trying to do here at MSU, but what we hope will happen across language uh, learning uh, nationally and internationally. So thank you for that. And I'm going to turn it over to Bill Hart Davidson, who um, has been uh, really uh, um, somebody who I am so grateful to have as a partner in facilitating the kind of collaborative uh, work that we're trying to advance here, both um, in the college, in his two, two dimensions of his role as the Associate Dean for Graduate Education, but also as Associate Dean for Research. And so we see both of those <coughs> dimensions being pulled together in this initiative. So please welcome Bill Hart Davidson. Thank you. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, Miguel, and thanks for all of you for making the trip today, whether it was just across campus or all across the continent. Um, we're happy to have you here in East Lansing. We tried, we did our best with the weather. We had as warm as it gets yesterday. Uh, not too bad. So hopefully you have a moment to walk along the river trail over lunch and uh, enjoy the campus a little bit. Um, we are very happy to have this event um, and in general the, the structure that has emerged that helps to promote this event, which is the Migration Studies Group, emerged from a project that we started 
about a year, a little over a year ago, on a, I was telling folks in the back, on a whiteboard very much like this, we dreamed up this event, and so now here you all are, and we're, uh, we've made it come to life, which is a great thing about universities. Um, you can take an idea and make it happen, and um, when they work their best, that's what they do well. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about that initiative, not only because we're proud of it, but because it's ongoing. Um, so we called this the Collaborative uh, Research Initiative, and it was, it was a recognition on the part of the faculty and the dean's office uh, across all of our groups that study language and culture that there were tremendous opportunities to bring folks together around thematic areas where there was literally no reason why culture and language are separate as areas of study. And migration studies is a clear example of that. Um, moreover, when we, when we create opportunities like the Migration Studies Research Group, and this was the vision that emerged when Danny and Miguel and his colleague, Bill Van Patten at the time, were around that table um, in Linton Hall, they said, they set a really ambitious goal, and they said, in these conversations that we have as a country, as a culture, ourselves, um, about migration studies, our voice is typically missing. That is, the folks who bring that human dimension, who talk a little bit about, uh, whether it's in the context of policy studies, language, um, cultural studies, uh, where, where is the humanist dimension in those conversations? It's missing. And so, Miguel said, this is what I want to do. I want, I want, when folks do a story in the press um, about migration in this area or in another area, I want them to call us. Don't get on the phone only and call the political scientists. That's great. Their perspective matters. Don't just call the economists. Call the humanists. We, we ought to get invited to the Hill when, as we saw this week, um, Congress once again failed to come to an agreement around uh, migration policy in the U.S. Maybe, we don't know, maybe if they had a few of the voices in this room at that table, things might change, right? So I, I couldn't be happier that, one, I heard this group of faculty setting this ambitious goal to say, let's do something. Let's bring our expertise, our ability to bring those ethical imperatives and our scholarly research together <coughs> to help make, make this place a little bit better. And also to help us understand what's going on. Um, the pace of of issues like migration today um, is changing so rapidly um, that keeping up with it um, is half of the half of the battle. So we're happy to see all of you here today to help us in that endeavor. And um, I'm eager to learn some things this morning. And I couldn't be happier to to have you all here. So uh, one last thing, I will say we are continuing our collaborative research initiative. Um, and we have an open call right now. We'll probably be extending that call to the end of spring break. Um, just to give people a little bit extra time in case they want to get a proposal together for similar kinds of research initiatives. The, the two requirements that we have are really that they are interdisciplinary, that they bring together folks from different perspectives, and that um, they set one of those ambitious goals like we saw here. And um, if you have one of those ideas, or if you talk to some of our faculty and colleagues here, graduate students here, um, and you're interested, uh, let's have today be another whiteboard moment where another great idea gets dreamed up. Um, we'd like to hear about it. So thank you all, and I'll hand it back to you again. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, I, I want to say a few things, and uh, thanks again, uh, Chris and Bill, for, uh, for supporting us. and. You know, we couldn't be happier to have you all here. Uh, I should say that maybe the other sponsor for this event is the climate, right? So, so we, we're able to do it because we don't have a lot of snow and, uh, you know, we're, we are thankful that our speakers coming from far away and, you know, from nearby in Michigan uh, were able to, to come safe. Um, these, 
as uh, Bill uh, mentioned, uh, this came out uh, of conversations, basically, among research. Um, a conversation that I had with Bill Van Patten uh, sparked the interest of creating uh, something that that would be a new space uh, on campus, and hopefully, you know, we want to, you know, expand into uh, into other. Uh, uh, communities as well uh, so you know the for me you know I'm wearing a t-shirt I'm an immigrant um, migration it is is personal you know? migration is political uh, it's uh, it, it touches us in different ways so uh, I think you know that's why we wanted to uh, start a conversation about migration at the time where where migration has become the soccer ball of political rhetoric, um, and you know it has become a way for politicians to score uh, points instead of dealing with with a, with a crisis, with uh, with a human uh, with a human condition and the human uh, uh, tragedy. Uh, so. We, you know, in this global era, we, uh, we, uh, uh, our lives are negotiations that draw from different experiences of cultural dislocations, uh, whether we move or our surroundings are moving um, or flowing with people in motion. Uh, and so, you know, I feel like, um, you know, migration, whether you acknowledge it or not, is part of. Uh, the world today, uh, and it's been part of the world uh, for many, many, many years, and uh, we need to to fully understand it, uh, continue talking about it, and you know, as Bill said, we want to sit at the table with the sociologist, with the economist, with the political scientist. We need to sit at that table to provide a different, uh, a different perspective. Um, a perspective that is human, that is uh, that is personal, that is um, uh, that is uh, probably more accurate and and closer to to what the trauma and the the uh, the, the, the issues that that the real uh, migrants uh, face. So um, so today we're going to talk about some of those things, and uh, I'm really happy. Uh, to initiate this conversation, uh, I, I want to thank the committee. Uh, you know, please, Danny, get up, please. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, it, please. Uh, you know, this can be. You know, it, this can't hap be hap happening at MSU without many people uh, doing the work. And you know, Danny. Uh, the, the two graduate students, uh, please, Jose and Oswaldo, could you, could you get up, please? Uh, without their help, this wouldn't happen, and uh, I'm very grateful for uh, for uh, for all of you. And uh, and so I would like to um, somebody else was going to present the the first speaker, uh, but uh, so I don't know if we should. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. So, so Danny is going to present uh, our next speaker. I want to tell you that um, before that, we're going to have lunch in, in the Centennial uh, Room here in, at the Kellogg um, later on. So it, it's it's uh, we'll we'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, but you know, obviously, we'll have some some possibilities to to talk to colleagues and and things like that in between talks. Uh, this afternoon, uh, later we're going to have MSU faculty and graduate students uh, talking, engaging with what the speakers, uh, the outside speakers are bringing today. And so I think uh, it will be a, a fruit fruitful uh, day of uh, conversation. So I, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, we're gathering all these ideas and, you know, towards the end we'll, we'll be, uh, you know, we'll feel like we've cover some of the, the major ideas that, that we wanted to, to accomplish. So, um, so let me just uh, introduce Danny Mendez, please. 